Hi everyone, it's Nancy Tran, dental hygienist and birth senior ambassador. Um, today's segment was a request from multiple hygienists and dental professionals in regards to a recent post on um, NSAIDs or what type of pain management you should and shouldn't use while in active orthodontic treatments. So I myself have been in ortho for over three years and I kind of learned um, the hard way. So um, it wasn't something that I initially learned um, from the start when I first received my braces, but then it's a conversation that I later had with my orthodontist that kind of made a lot of sense, um, especially understanding how the science of our periodontal ligaments and you know the bone remodeling and stuff like that works with our teeth and our jaw. So um, initially it was a Facebook post by a fellow ambassador. She shared um, a selfie with her newly adjusted ortho bands and um, she said that with her pain that she was expecting, she had a bottle of ibuprofen or Advil to take to help with that pain. So I just dropped a little um, pro tip in the comments and just let her know like, hey, I'm not sure if you knew, but taking ibuprofen actually um, is not recommended during your ortho treatment because it restricts tooth movement. So it kind of makes sense if you really think about it, but a lot of other dental professionals were not aware. Orthodontic treatment really is encouraging tooth movement based on mechanical forces that we put on the teeth in the jawbone. So when we are putting pressure on your teeth, we want to um, increase bone remodeling. And also you want to create an increased blood flow, which, cre uh, which leads to inflammation in the tissue. So when we have inflammation, that allows the tissue to actually move um, a little bit more freely. So you want a widened PDL space and that helps the teeth move um, along with the pressure and the mechanical forces. So if we are taking any, any NSAIDs, so NSAIDs are anti-inflammatories. If we are reducing the inflammation in the teeth and the bones, it reduces osteoclasts. So when we don't have osteoclasts, we're not getting bone remodeling that's happening. And then we're also restricting that inflammation. So when we're reducing that inflammation, the ligaments of the periodontal um, PDL, the periodontal ligaments is restricted. So that actually tightens and does not allow tooth movement to happen freely. And there's different research articles that are out there. And we'll drop a couple of links in the um, links below so that you guys can read the articles. Um, but it's kind of cool and it really shows that Tylenol is your recommended medication for pain when you are in active tooth movement. I hope this video segment has helped um, answer any questions or any concerns that you guys had in regards to the recommended um, pain management for ortho treatment. Hopefully in the research articles in the links below can kind of explain in further detail um, the clinical findings that explain and back up those uh, prostaglandin and inflammation, bone synthesis, things like that um, for all of our science nerds in the dental field. Um, if you guys have any questions, drop them. Thank you so much for tuning in to Burst TV. Have a great day.